Hi, Brian. I'm so sorry that this community service project took so long to get handed in. I completely forgot when I messaged you about my problems that I still needed to get it done. And I am vacationing at home and I remembered that I still haven't done it. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the work I did in the winter semester for my community service project. I worked at the Regina Open Door Society, which is not an organization that is new to me. I've been volunteering with them and discovered them when I had to actually volunteer for a education class. I was in a different area when I went on as a community service project, I decided to try something they call conversation circle. So what I basically did is I worked with people learning English, mostly adults. Sometimes there would be kids in like the fourth to fifth or sixth grade, but it was mostly adults. And I really enjoyed it at first. I was really nervous because one thing I noticed right away was doing the homework help is easy. You just go with students and help them with their homework and kind of tutor them. And that's what I had done with the Open Door Society before and was really comfortable in that because I'm in school to be a teacher. So I was really comfortable doing that. The conversation circle is much harder because you have to talk to people that don't really speak much English and try and get them to understand and teach them English. So for me, I enjoyed the challenge of really having to use some superior communication skills. You can't just talk to these people to tell them what to do because they have limited English skills. So I really enjoyed utilizing unique and creative ways to get them to understand. Usually I was just assisting the teacher. However, towards the end, when it was very cold and wintry out, the teacher would sometimes not show up and I would get no notice. I would just show up. She wouldn't be there. And I would have sometimes two minutes, sometimes 10 minutes to just come up with a lesson. And at first, the first time I did it, I was so terrified because they were asking all these grammar questions and like asking like stuff that I hadn't really thought of since I was in elementary school and it was kind of nice to see them ask me questions about like basic stuff and want to improve their knowledge but it was scary for me because I'm thinking to myself I don't remember half the questions they're asking me so a lot of times I would take a tiny bit of material or review what the teacher gave and I would have to stretch it out for like an hour an hour and a half so I at first was pretty uncomfortable, but I realized that it gave me two advantages. I was able to actually get some practice teaching. So it became very valuable for what I would like to do in my future as a teacher, because I was able to practice what I would do when I've got a group of students and they don't understand what I'm asking them to do. And I have to find a way to make it work. The other advantage I found was I was able to really gain understanding and meet people from a culture that I'm not super familiar with. It's not really a secret to most people that I'm a Christian and my faith is something really important to me. And most of the immigrants and refugees at the Open Door Society were Muslim. So I personally really enjoyed gaining insight and learning about their culture and their values and their beliefs and actually how similar it is and how much I had in common with them, even though we're in different religion groups, you would say. I actually found a lot of our values to be very similar. Um, the understanding that I had with them and even just befriending them was quite easy, which I really enjoyed. And I found over time that it was just really nice to be able to go there. And when they would jokingly call me teacher and stuff, and it was kind of weird at first because some of the students are like in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and here I am like teaching them stuff. It was kind of nice to sort of see all the different ages, 
ideas and religion and like people group stuff kind of be stripped away. And it was nice in that room to be able to all be equal and even help each other. Because a lot of times my favorite thing was when we would be teaching them the English, they would teach us the word in their language. And there was people learning English that spoke multiple languages. So it was great to not only be able to teach them something, but also come away being taught something, learning words in Arabic and Tigrinya and Swahili and all these different languages. Like I don't really remember most of the words, but just kind of being open to that experience of like learning new words and allowing them to feel like they're teaching me something too, not just sitting there and learning was something I really enjoyed. Overall, it was a really good experience. I didn't necessarily feel like I was like super helping out the community, like some of the students that maybe helped out with the Relay for Life or did like a clothing drive. But what I found that I really thought to be a value was that I was able to help out a smaller group of people and through helping other people, it really helped myself out. So I really enjoyed my community service project and it was a really wonderful experience.